In this section, we're going to look at the volume of prisms and cylinders. So to define these, prism, a 3D figure with congruent parallel shapes at either end, and they must be polygons. Polygons just being enclosed figures um, that all have straight sides, or, ni or nice clean sides uh, that are straight. So polygon, square, it's a polygon. They're parallel. That prism is an example of a prism. Here's another example of a prism, uh, the triangular one. Uh, this one's actually probably the one that people will most likely think of as a prism because we often call this a box of types and that a prism. The, uh, it's the one that uh, when you shine light through, if it's made of glass, will often uh, be used as a representation of making a rainbow. So white light goes in and a rainbow comes out because of the uh, changing of speeds as the light moves through the uh, glass. And you'll see that as the cover of the Pink Floyd album. Um, now, this here, when we have some round shapes on either end, well, now we're talking about a cylinder. So it's similar to a prism, except again, just like we have, we often call the perimeter of a circle uh, circumference. We treat circles separately from straight line shapes. Uh, we treat the 3D model the same. So it's called a cylinder. It's a 3D figure with congruent and parallel circles at the end. Uh, in terms of volume, volume is the amount of space that an object occupies. And then uh, the height of a prism or cylinder is the distance between those congruent faces. So in this case, we have the squares that are congruent. This could be considered the height here. But also, these two rectangles are congruent. So we could say that the height is this way. That doesn't make sense. But hey, if I turn my shape that way, all of a sudden, that's the height. Similar idea with the... Here, uh, the prism here, that triangular prism, uh, the distance from these two triangles on either end uh, would be the height. So even though it's laying down, we would consider from this triangle to this triangle, so this length here or here uh, or this uh, interior one, those would all be um, the height of that shape. We wouldn't do it the same as the uh, rectangular prism because these sides are on angles from each other and there's three of them. So the height is that, even though it's turned on its side, we consider that the height. Uh, and then with our circular uh, type of prism known as a cylinder, it's the distance from the circle to the circle. And then our formulas, if you notice, volume equals length times width times height. What's the area of a square or rectangle? Length times width. And then we're just multiplying it by the height. Essentially what we're doing here is we're just stacking a whole bunch of these shapes on top of each other. Same idea with the triangular prism. Uh, volume or area equals one half base times height of a triangle. And then we multiply that by the length of the object or our height uh, specifically in this case, um, which is why again, we say those terms are arbitrary depending on the situation. It's just that we're multiplying the three values, uh, the three dimensions together. Because it's a three dimensional shape, you multiply three dimensions. Uh, and then in the case of our circle, uh, pi r squared h is here. And again, three dimensions because r times r times h is what we got there. And then pi being a special uh, the value. Um, so those are the formulas. It's the area. And so sometimes you'll see these listed as the area of the base times the height. And that's what they mean here. The area of the base times the height. Um, so the base, if you take your base shape, square, triangle, circle, find the area of that and multiply it by the height. And that'll give you the volume. So as an example, here we got uh, one half base times height times length for a uh, pyramid here. We want to get the volume of that. So I got a height on this triangle of three. Yes, the triangle is tilted. That's fine though. Again, we're focused on the area of the triangle and then the extra dimension that we're multiplying. So three, four, and seven. And again, it doesn't even matter if you put them in that order because multiplication Three times four times seven is the same as four times three times seven, or seven times four times three. But we'll do three times four times seven. As long as we multiply our three dimensions together, it does not matter. And so we have one half times three times four times seven. We can do this uh, all in one step if we want. If you want to type that in your calculator, again, one half is one divided by two uh, times three times four and then times seven. And when we do that, uh, 21 uh, times two is gonna be 42. So we're gonna get 42, and in this case, it's gonna be centimeters cubed, or cubic centimeters. 
Uh, for another example, we got a cylindrical shape here. Um, we got a radius of seven feet and then a length here of 12. So that's gonna be our height dimension, um, even though uh, we have it on its side. Again, the height, length, width, fairly arbitrary values. 3.14, that's our pi. Our radius is important because this value has to be squared. So that one isn't arbitrarily uh, used, so it has to be seven squared times 12. And when we do that, we can type that all in your calculator or you can do seven squared first. If you do seven squared first, you're gonna get 49 times 12. So 3.14 times 49 times 12 is gonna give us 1,846.32. And that is gonna be in square feet. Um, or you could write feet squared like that as well. Your choice on the units. The, uh, you can't, so in the case of the triangle, we said we can move things around and same with a prism. Uh, the numbers can be in different orders and different positions. In this case here though, again with cylinders, because they're special, the circle, the radius has to be the one squared. So if we were to do 12 squared, it'd be 3.14 times 144 times seven, which is gonna get you, get you a much larger answer. Um, as well, if you're using the pi button on your calculator, instead of typing in 3.14, you'll get a slightly different answer. Um, because it'll, the 3.14 is rounded down, uh, so you get a slightly larger answer with that.